Hi, I'm Rachel. And so am I. And, and welcome, welcome to Fun Day Sunday Kids. Hi, and welcome to Fun Day Sunday Kids. <laughs> that was good. That's a little workout to start this week's yeah. episode, right? Yes. And we are looking forward to this week's episode, aren't we? We sure are. We've got Woo. loads of fun for you again. Yeah. We hope that you have had a good week, as per usual. We hope that you spoiled your fathers mm. slash those who you were celebrating on Father's Day last Sunday yeah. really well. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. It's hard to run in flip-flops. It is, to be honest. And you know what's harder? Because hay fever is really high at the minute so well yesterday i was literally like i don't know if any of you struggle with hay fever but it is awful so i think that's made it even a bit harder but we should get stuck in shouldn't we we should and we're gonna start this week's episode with our something fun yes well here we are at this week's something fun we both have one barefoot each some paint and some paper mm. Please do not think if you see lines that are darker on my foot that it's dirty. It's just that I've got tan lines from these shoes. Don't think the camera's that close. Oh god. Just in case you saw it. Right then. So we are going to challenge ourselves to painting with our feet. We've done something similar, but we used felt tips. We wondered whether painting would be a bit harder. And so we're going to give it a go, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> so what are we going to do first, Rach? We are painting the seaside. So we're going to have a go at painting. It's not about being the fastest. It's about which one's the best. Mm. So I think we'll post the pictures out and let people vote on them and then decide next week. We'll yeah. let you know who wins next week. Yeah. Are you ready? No. Neither am I. Let's go. <laughs> to break bread. Paul spoke to the group. Because he was planning to leave the next day, he kept on talking till midnight. They were all together in a room upstairs and there were many lamps in the room. A young man named Eutychus was sitting in the window. As Paul continued talking, Eutychus was falling into a deep sleep. Finally, he went sound asleep. And fell to the ground from the third floor. Oh no! 
when they picked him up, he was dead. Paul went down to Eutychus. He knelt down and put his arms around him. He said, don't worry, he is alive now. Yeah, it's a miracle, wow. Then Paul went upstairs again. He broke bread and he ate. He spoke to them for a long time until it was early morning. Then he left. The others took the young man home alive and were greatly comforted. Well, Rach, remind me never to fall asleep, especially while sat by a window when someone is talking to me. <laughs> I know, a bit dangerous that, isn't it? But I mean, to be fair to him, it was midnight and Paul was going on and on and on and on and I think I get a bit sleepy when people talk too long. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but how awesome is that he came back to life? Yes, the miraculous power that through the, the gift of the Holy Spirit that was in Paul meant that when he went down there he was able to resurrect this poor boy this young man back yeah. to life. Yeah, and we chose this one because again it was Paul, a disciple, who did this through the power of the Holy Spirit, it wasn't actually Jesus, was it? No, because we have seen that Jesus has brought, uh, mm. Jesus brought two people back from the dead before he was raised from the dead. Mm. And, and he probably did many more than that that was written down. But we wanted to show that actually it's not just Jesus, but actually it's his disciples too, because it's the same spirit that was in Jesus the Holy Spirit that lives in us and gives us these gifts to give us the ability to do miraculous powers. But Rach, what is it? What is miraculous? What does that mean? Miraculous is something that we can't do on our own. Something that is, is to everyone else just inexplainable. Yeah. Like how do you explain this? How do you explain that somebody has come back to life? Yeah. Or like when Jesus walked on water, yeah. how do you explain that? Or when, when he, he fed, fed the 5,000. Exactly, like from just a small amount of food, he fed 5,000 plus people. So yeah. it was just 5,000 men, never mind the women and children. Yeah. And I don't know about you, children slash women, I'm, I get hungry. I yeah. could eat a lot. Yeah. But there was so much food. There are miraculous things that we can't explain. Exactly. Yeah. And sometimes we ask for, to God for a miracle. It's not always about um, health or healing or something like that. Sometimes those of us who might be struggling, we might ask God, God, we need a miracle. We need some money or something like that. We need something to happen. And no way that we have, might have no way of having money, but all of a sudden something will happen. And it's a miracle. Yeah. We might check our bank and there will be money or somebody That's will suddenly gift us some money because God will have spoken to them and put you on their heart. Mm -hmm. And to us, it's a miracle because we needed that and we've asked God and there it is. Yeah, and it, it's like there's a couple in our church actually who once had some people come round, they had an open, that, a house that was very open and anyone could come round and they didn't have a lot of money uh, and they didn't have a lot of food in and all of a sudden all these people came round their house but yet they were able to feed them all. Now that's miraculous because they saw what food they had and they thought, I don't know how this is going to stretch out but everyone was sufficiently filled, a bit like the feeding of 5,000. Yeah. God wants to use us as well because it's the same spirit and it is a gift of the spirit miraculous powers to do things that are unexplainable because it's not by our power but it's by the Holy Spirit and his power that we can do things that are unexplainable now that's not to say that we can just say I want to do this so this is what's gonna happen it's not up to us God just uses us as a as like a tunnel as a like a, a drain vessel. pipe a vessel yeah to make this thing happen so we've got to make sure we listen to God and what it is that he's saying that he wants to happen and not just us being like right I'm gonna go walk on some water yeah because you shouldn't go don't go try that no no no, no. <laughs> but you know what after that awesome story our friends the puppets yeah have got a song about miracles amazing how amazing is that do. They, they just have one for every occasion, don't they? They do. So, shall we go over to the puppets? Yes. Every drop of rain that falls That the Lord sends down on one and all It's a miracle All God's creations, great and small Summer, winter, spring and fall That's a miracle 
Hello, Sunday fun day church families and friends. How are you doing? Yeah, this is Pastor MC. Yes, we are praying together to asking God's help. You know, God is the creator and the supernatural God. And you know, God helps and those who honestly seek Him. Yes, agree? Yes, my little MC also agree. So, Sherry, we will pray together to God's help. Let's pray. Yes. Heavenly Father, 
you are the miracle maker and you are the creator. Thank you for Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. We come before you on this beautiful day to worship you and thank you. Please pour out your supernatural power and love upon our Sunday Sunday church, kids and friends and family. So bless and protect us by your, your supernatural power in Jesus name. Amen. Yes, God will listen. God listen our prayer and he will protect and bless us. Bye now. <laughs> well, feel weird. I know. That is all that we have for today's episode, though, isn't it, Rach? It is. We hope you've enjoyed it. We hope you've enjoyed the puppets. And uh, if you have a go of the blind painting with your feet, then do send us in some pictures or videos. Yes, and we hope that you are encouraged and know that actually God wants to use you to do things that we as humans can't do and how amazing is that so please do be encouraged by that as well and have ears ready to hear what god wants us to do this week yep so guys we're gonna let you get on with the rest of your day have a very blessed week yes. and we'll see you next sunday bye Well, here we are at this week's something fun. We both have one. Uh, it's only been a second. I'm really sorry, mate. My my shoes stink. My feet stink. You're gonna get some bad smells during this challenge.